that again. So the okay. anthology of African poetry also features poetry by yourself? Poetry by myself and other uh, seven other poets from mm -hmm. New York University. And uh, if you check out the good part of this Patla book, is that uh, it's, it's bilingual in nature. I saw that. So, yeah, there yeah. are poems there also in, in, in French, in French. And poems in uh, in English. Okay. And um, you know, it's part of the initiative, you know, to create a bilingual atmosphere for the people in Canada and also for those. Uh, since we started again in college, it's mm. a bilingual college. Yes, it is. So we're trying to promote bilingualism, you know, by doing uh, that project as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're excited about this. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? I'm excited because in the first place, um, we are trying to reach people. And secondly, too, we are trying to use this uh, medium to reach, if not uh, at least five million people on the planet, little by little through our networks and networks. Mm -hmm. So, and we reaching the means we want to be able to, you know, get some funding you know, from this book. Mm. I also use it to help African children. That's why I'm mostly excited about it. And me too, the picture is, the picture is beautiful. The cover, exactly, yeah, the, yeah. The cover art is really, really well done. And the cover art, if I may tell you, was given to me by one of the, uh, one of the members of the, of the African Network. Mm. Um, she's, uh, her name is Melanie Linda. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, she, she gave that artwork you know, for this particular publication. She was the art director during the time we were doing the program, mm -hmm. and she visited Nigeria. Uh, so a wife, a wife, a white girl. Mm -hmm. She visited Nigeria and also saw the beauty of the place. Mm. And she drew that particular artwork. And when I saw it, I was like, "Wow!" It is. And it's, uh, it and is. even when I went to Nigeria at uh, the Nigerian High Commission Art Exhibition, the price of that particular artwork was expensive, and I was like, "Whoa!" Can you believe this? That's nice. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. nice because it's quite appropriate exactly. with the book. With the which, book. Yeah, which features how many poets again? Eight poets. Eight poets. And also other writers who put up their articles there as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. We should specifically um, identify this college is York University's campus in Scarborough. Okay. I mean, Glendon. Glendon, Glendon is at Bayview and Lawrence. Bayview and Bayview Lawrence. And Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, very close to, uh, you know, the. Sony Brook Hospital, right. very close to that. Place, right, yeah. so yeah, Scarborough, but it's also, it's French. Yeah, it's, it's a bilingual college, mm -hmm. it's English and French. So mm -hmm. you study in English, also you study in French. Right. So for you to graduate from there, you have to have a bilingual certificate at the end of the day. And that's where you study, Stephen? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this is radio, they won't see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marfo can see you, but he won't tell. I am really excited. I want you to read, read your poem. Okay, um, I will read you uh, one poem from, it was called African Dreams in Shambo. Uh, if you go to page 14 of my, of the book, uh, it says African Dreams in Shambo. And yes. it goes like this. Africa has made me proud. Africa seems to have let me down and cried. You have become a sleeping giant in the wake of the night. And you wake up only when told Africa is a sleeping giant. Your continental map is discernible, and yet your geography is in question. Your identity is still emerging globally when it should have emerged so long ago. Africa. Africa, you are a sweet home, you know, but you have let your sweet dreams pass you by. You are the sleeping giant that wakes up only when told. Why do you let us down day in, day out, Africa? Your children are in crisis, and their identity is often in question and in crisis. Africa, you are the mother of the earth, a mother who feeds generations far away in distant green lands. Yet, your children die of AIDS, hunger, and poverty. You have a duty to protect them, Africa. Why are you sleeping? You are the giant Iroko tree that was once cut up. You grow into more trees. You are yet to tap into nature and its embellishment, Africa, to your own advantage. Africa, don't be the sleeping giant. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's great. That's great. You're welcome. Thank you. 
This is a book launch that's going to take place at Glendon. At Glendon College. Right, and it takes place on February 29th. Exactly, 6 p.m. to uh, 9 30 p.m. Okay. Yeah, and that'll be after party as well. Right. Yeah. The book, if you want more information about it, like you said, it's available online, but cost.